What's going on, YouTube world? Welcome back to Little Bit Man Gaming, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. First thing first, y'all can hit that like, subscribe, and share in the notification button. Also, leave a comment. Greatly appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. It helps me grow. It helps, the, it helps everything grow overall. And uh, it just gives me nice feedback, you know, how you liking the videos, you know. It gets me to, I get to know my audience. So, with that being said, uh, the last, I think the last time we left off, we just got the defeat at Android 19. Defeat Android 19 and uh, Vegeta turned Super Saiyan. The androids appear. We're in the middle of fighting the androids. So I think we're looking now. We're looking for Android 20. And the first thing first, they said we have to talk to. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. We have to talk to everybody to see what's going on. Etienne, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. This could be fun. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. That must be Vegeta. <laughs> yep, because this is basically what Vegeta was. He was like on top of a mountain looking for him. Have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Which is weird. They they got you being Piccolo asking around for him. And Piccolo's supposed to be one to get attacked by him. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. That must be the last one is gone. Wow, this could be fun. Go on. You find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Damn, hate to say it, but we might have lost him. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go on. Androids, get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. <laughs> How did they find me? And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I will be taking your energy. 
your energy now. I'm surprised they made you, they make you weaker than Piccolo. I mean, pick wait, Piccolo weaker weaker than Doctor Jiro slash Android Twenty because he was in the anime. He was a lot stronger than Android Twenty. I had to make sure that I couldn't, like... Extending my energy. Get off me, Dr. Giroff. I'm stealing energy for you. Damn it, your energy 
That's a hard battle when you uh when you're a lower level than your opponent. Up oh, there go trunks. Wait. These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now. None of you have any hope of winning. Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you. What? Ah! Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean, my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Jero's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Jero's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Android 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly <clears throat> tactics. Let him activate them. 
I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan. Head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay. Be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry. We've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. Vegeta's rash and bold uh, belief in himself. Gonna get himself beat up by Androids uh, 18. Goku's heart virus begins to take hold during his fight. Vegeta not able to become a Super Saiyan. Easy disposes of Android 19. 20 overpower and outnumber attempts to flee. Man. It's a terrible duel of seventeen and eighteen, and and to find out and find out thanks to Trunks interference, this version of seventeen and eighteen is not as evil as the um as the future version, which is weird when you think about it. The future version of Android seventeen and eighteen had Trunks not interfered, would have uh would have been just pure downright evil. Because his interference. So if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Jiro built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. Android 17 and 18, huh? I wonder if Vegeta's already run into them. This Dr. Giro was working for the Red Ribbon Army? Well then, he's definitely not a good guy. Jeez, it's freezing up here. I kill for a coat right now. Deal with it. I'm cold too. You earthlings are a pain. Man, I would have preferred the original music over what we got. Because the original music was so much better.
So I wonder if we're going to get the Piccolo being able to transform into Super Piccolo or the Super Namek. Because in most games, Piccolo's, uh, once Piccolo fused with Kami, it's like a transformation, just like how he could transform into a Super Saiyan, he could transform into the Super Namek. Create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but... Uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. But where are they going? Tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. How dare they? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Vegeta, now you, now you're going to go Vegeta's big bang uh, attack. Super attack is now available. Kill Kakarot? Ha, don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! Alright, and we're back. Uh, if we're, I'm saying that because it's probably a weird cut. Easy. Or it's probably going to be a cut to this because I was doing other stuff and now I'm finally heading towards the androids. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. 
You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. How do I guess since you're an android, you're not... Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either of you. There you! Let's go! You're done! Let's go! You're done!
Okay, that didn't go as I planned. Holy crap. Well, she wrap it up like that. Uh oh. I had to get that out the way. The big bag attack was the only thing that was doing like considerable damage to her. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey, wait, wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, 
Why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Tell us what the future's like, Trunks. Uh, I, I mean, if you want to. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Unfortunately. I don't really have anything positive to say, so I'd rather not talk about it. They look weak. No cause for concern. 
You're hopeless, Krillin. <clears throat> Let's go a bit faster. Let's kick it into high gear, trucks. Damn, I gotta find some more medals. Uh, what can he upgrade by himself? Yes, we go to Goku's house because I had to collect some of the little D medals. <clears throat> Android 20 awakens Android 17 and 18, who then activates Android 16. Bringing with confidence, Vegeta challenges Android 18 to a fight, but she ultimately proves too strong for him. this apple ha, what a juicy apple ha. I'm extremely grateful for this find
heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. Level up. I don't know who leveled up there, though. Just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. 
I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with the database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. wondering is is the future really all that bad it is humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people that's terrible all right with that being said we're going to end it here um when we come back we're going to be Going to look at the other time capsule, which we know belongs to Sale. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be meeting up with him and the, and the other androids in the next video. So, hit that like, subscribe, and share, and the notification button. And leave a comment. And um, we see you in the next video.